Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas. And today I'm going to tell you how to monitor your blood glucose or your blood sugar. Uh, this is something that's evolved, the technology has evolved over the years, and it's become fairly easy to do it at home by yourself or with someone else assisting you. So the basic components I'm going to talk about are using a, a very basic blood glucose monitor. The first thing that you want to do is get your supplies ready. So if you have a new container of test strips, you want to make sure that your monitor is calibrated to, to match the test strips. The next thing that you want to do is get your lancet prepared in your plunger. The lancet is what holds the needle, and that's what's going to actually pierce the skin and help draw the blood. So once you have those ready, you then want to prep your finger. So you'll, um, you'll prep your finger with alcohol, and then you will pierce it with the plunger. Gently draw blood from the finger, and this will just give you a little, a little droplet of blood. You're going to take the test strip, which has already been placed in the monitor, and insert the blood into the monitor. And then you just kind of wait. Hold the blood on the finger so that it's not bleeding too much as you wait for your test results. And the monitor will automatically um, develop the results for you and then with monitors nowadays they actually have options where you can say if it was at breakfast at dinner if you're doing exercise and it will hold this information in a little storage compartment a memory of sorts for you that you can take to your doctor when you go so that's the most simple basic way to monitor your blood sugar or your blood glucose